Let us pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name because of today. We thank you, Lord, because of yesterday. We thank you, Lord, because of tomorrow. We thank you, Lord, because out of your love you have called us and you find us worthy, O oh Lord. Father, accept our thanks, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. No, Lord, Almighty Father, we have no any other one except you. And we have no that we are clay in your hand. Lord, we pray. As a pot, as a pot maker, you will use us as you want in Jesus' name. But our ability to surrender ourselves totally. Our ability to surrender ourselves unconditionally. Our ability to surrender ourselves only. For that you will give to us in Jesus' name. And we are ever you said we should go, Lord. We are ready to go and you will follow us in Jesus' name. At the end of the race, oh Lord, everyone is the utmost, utmost of our goal. We will not miss it in Jesus' name. You will take us there by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh mighty Father, when the roll call is being called, Father, I pray no one among us will find missing in Jesus' name. I do not know you will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Thank you, O oh Lord, because you are the Lord that answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. In a few minutes, I will still talk to us about cleanliness is godliness. Cleanliness is godliness. I've seen that is a person that went to a certain place, and when he got there, he saw the place as a pastor. He saw the place very, very dirty. And then he was looking at it. If this is the place we need to worship, if this is the place we need to meet, if this is the place we need to discuss the word of the Lord, and then by the time you enter, this place is many. By the time you sit down, the cup is somewhere. Another plate is somewhere. The handkerchief is somewhere on the table. And you are seeing the cloth that is dirty in another place. You see a lot of baggies in another place. Everything was disorganized. And the people were going to be coming. And I wish every one of us we go and listen once again to the, the to the Mrs. Dada message about cleanliness in the church. And then we will look at it. What about if a visitor is coming? This is a man that when you get to the to his house, the kind of chair is using, the kind of sitting room is using, the kind of the bedroom is he is sleeping. The, 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 when you look at his kitchen, and we invite that particular person. And by the time he got to our own church, everything was upside down. And he was saying, he was thinking within his mind, is that the place I'm going to worship? This is the reason why we need to take it very serious. The cleanness of the church. The cleanness of environment of the church. The cleanness of ourselves. That everything we are going to do is very, very important. And from now, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to take them serious in Jesus' name. We need to teach all our junior ones, ourselves, instead of communicating on phone unnecessarily, instead of the junior one to be playing games, instead of them to be do, do a lot of things that does not warrant, that does not warrant to take their time. Why can't we teach them or how to clean the house, or how to make a house neat, or how to make their bedroom neat, or how to make their, their, their bed neat, or how to make the plate they are washing, I mean, they are using to eat, or how to, or how to, or how to wash them, or how to make a, the living room of their parents, or how to make them clean. All this thing is very, very important. There is no way whereby we walk as we are walking and we get to our home. It's, there's no, even by the time we are sleeping on the bed, by the time we are sleeping on the chair, by the time we are eating, we are even not feeling comfortable within ourselves. What's the essence of walking? What's the essence of life? When we get to the place of work, we are under stress. We still get home, we are under, we are under condition that is not suitable for our enjoyment, but by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for every one of us in Jesus' name. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah, verse 1, 
I mean, chapter 1, verse 16. Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 16. Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 16. I will read for us. What the Bible says about the cleanliness of ourselves, of our environment, of everything that is concerning us. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 6. And the Bible says, I mean, I mean verse 16. I'm sorry. Wash you, wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes cease to do evil. God knows the importance of washing. It will be very, very, uh, I mean, unacceptable. It is very, very dirty. It is very, very, I mean, unpresentable. It will be very, very unworthy. It is very, very, uh, uh, I mean, if there's any other thing to use than words to use. If somebody we are, we, we, if somebody call me and we welcome that particular person, but the time we open our hand, we say welcome. The odor that came out of our armpit is unbearable. We welcome a, a, a visitor to the church. By the time we open our mouth, the kind of the odor that is coming out of our mouth is unacceptable. We welcome somebody to the to the place of, uh, to the church, but by the time he, he, he say, "Let us all be one another," the kind of odor that comes from our cloth is unacceptable. And then there's the person that we look at him, very very neat, very very fine, very very beautiful. How do you want that particular person to take you to take the church of the Lord? God knows important of God knows important of this one, and then whenever he's talking about about sanctification, about he's talking about being I mean being clean, he always use the language that is very common to every one of us. Wash yourself. My dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, by the time you are coming to the church, be in your best dressing. Party, you are not going. Marriage ceremony, you are not going. Naming ceremony, you are not going. When they are doing by day, that is not glorification of the name of the Lord, you are not going. Any dancing outside the will of the Lord, outside the after the after the circle of the Lord, you are not going. All the clothes, everything we have at home, all the shoe, every tie we have at home, all the good good clothes we have at home. Where else do we want do we want to wear them to? If not the house of the Lord, look fine, look good. Let you be attractive. To the outsider that they were able to say, This, if this is the God you are serving, and you are looking neat like this, I will serve that God. Look beautiful as somebody God has created for the glorification of His name. The people of the world, when they call, I remember when there, there was a time my, my, my MD sent me to a meeting. Of this worldly meeting, when I got there, I look at them and I told, I, I sent back message to him. I said, "No, poverty is a cause, but we are not poor. The only thing is that we need to take everything we have. We need to take them into important. We need to utilize them." Talk of anything other they have in the hotel, we don't have in this church. Talk of anything, all the two people they say they have, they have money well, that they are, we don't have in this church. But the presentation is what matters. Where does this one supposed to be? Where does this one supposed to be? How do we need to organize this? How do we want? How do we need to organize that so that the house of the law will look better than the hotel? What's never that is not necessary, let us eliminate them. Whatever that we need to buy, let us buy them. And the, the last time somebody came, he told me that, okay, in order to make the church look better, anytime in the morning, try to make perfume. 
fresh air to have fresh air in the church all those things we need to make it so that is this stuffy is this stuff or what do they normally get so that when the house of the lord is being stored i mean what's the language they use we're able to eliminate that odor and god is going to help us in jesus name the mighty hand of the lord will go to help us in jesus name this church has helped a lot of us it has helped me I was discussing to one of our visitors yesterday and I was telling him that this is my life, this is my life before we started the church. But since I've seen a lot of changes in my dressing, in my speaking, in my accommodation. And he told me, if that be the case, Pastor Matthew, you are my model. And the, the, the grace of the law will make us what we're supposed to be in the hand of the Lord in Jesus' name. In the book of in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of in the book of Ezekiel, look at that book of Isaiah. He said, Wash you. So that you can be clean. Now look at the book of Ezekiel in the book of Ezekiel, chapter chapter 36, verse 25. Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36, verse 25. Ezekiel 36, verse 25. He said, Then we I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your fitness and from all your idol. We I cleanse you. But look at the Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Look at what the Bible, look at the word by it said, wash you. Make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. So after you have washed yourself physically, spiritually, then God said, and I will stand I mean, God said, and and and, and then we ask sprinkle clean water upon you. No matter how spiritual you are, no matter how old you are. No matter how perfect you are, no matter how excellent you are in, sp in, in spiritual realm, if you are dirty, to go and pray the word of the law will be very, very difficult. If you are not dressing, if you are not dressing fine, to go to, to go and miss somebody outside will be very, very difficult. No wonder. Bible said, make yourself clean. Do your own part, and I will do my own part. And the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. Make yourself clean. The kind of the air you put on your head, the kind of the dressing you put on, the kind of the trouser you put on, the kind of the shoe you put on, is it godly? Can you use it to go and preach the word of the Lord? All those things is necessary to be watched. So that the spirit in you can be exposed and your natural carelessness will not die them, die them down. We realize all these things in Jesus' name. It's very necessary personally. It's necessary between husband and wife. It's necessary between, between wife and husband. In our, in our marital life, in our day-to-day, -day, so that we can enjoy our marriage. That's part of what build the house of the Lord. Because if all those things is not there, if the family is not good, if, the, if there's dirtiness in the house, there's no way the church of the Lord can be grow. My dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, what are those things? That the wife is complaining that my husband, this is what I want you to look at. What are those things that the husband is complaining that my wife, this is what I want you to look at. To bring smoothness, to bring an agreement, to bring joy into our life. We need to look at them. And God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. Washing 
is associating with removing. Wash yourself. Wash the house of the Lord. Wash yourself. Remove all dirty things in the house of the Lord. Make yourself clean. Make the house of the Lord clean. Dress properly. Arrange the house of the Lord properly. And the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for every one of us in Jesus' name. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, 2 Corinthians, the book of the the the, 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 of, the letter of Paul, the second letter of Paul to the, to the people of Corinth, to the people of Corinthians, to the people of the second letter of Paul. That's the second Corinthians ch chapter. 7 verse 1 and want us to to read it and see after therefore these promises dearly beloved let us cleanse ourselves from all fitness of the flesh we can see it all fitness of the flesh then paul mentioned spirit that's me if the flesh is not clean it will be absolutely very difficult for the spirit to take total control. And the, every one of us know that Almighty God does not stay where there's an uncleanness. If all this thing is not going, it's not necessary, the, the Bible wouldn't have been mentioning them naturally. Make yourself neat. Arrange yourself. Dress yourself. Make the house of the Lord, uh, house of the Lord need. Arrange the house of the Lord. Make everything attractive to the beauty and the glory of the Lord. And God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. Your Christian life is not only spiritual. So that it will not be too cold for comfort. As we are making care of our spiritual life, we need to make and we need to make care of our of our, our of our flesh, of everything that is physical. God is going to help you. God is going to help me in Jesus in Jesus' name. You may be singing in choir. You may be sharing a lot of testimony. You may be teaching in Sunday school. But if you are dirty and sloppy, what testimony, what message are you passing to the people? If, if it is only one cloth, make it clean and iron it. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28, the book of Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28. Leviticus. That's the third book of Moses, chapter 19, verse 28. 19. 19, 28. You shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead, nor print any mark upon you. I am the Lord. My dear brother, my dear sister, I don't care. I have no respect for you. I have no regard for you. I have no adoration for you. I have no glory for you. If, if you write the name of Jesus Christ by tattoo and you put it in your body, I don't care. It's like the same thing. You put a singlet there, and you, uh, you 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 put you put something you put something on that singlet or on that on that garment, and you use it to prom I mean to promote something that is Satan. Like this one opposite is good. Like this one that all, all other people know that is not good, but the thing that that shall said it is good. So you cannot use a negative thing to produce a positive thing. You cannot say because you want to write the name of the of, or the name of Jesus Christ and you write it by tattoo. You put it into your hand and don't care. It's a sin. 
Jesus is good. You cannot say because you said Jesus is good and you put it on your neck and you use tattoo. It's bad. You cannot say come and see what God is doing in my life and you use tattoo and you use it to put in your body. It's bad. My dear brother, my dear sister, that shall not follow them. And that shall not copy them. What is bad, it is bad. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to make us clean totally in Jesus' name. Never. Ever. Should you say you are promoting the name of that Lord in a negative way? God is not being mocked. And do not mock yourself. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 11. Isaiah 55, verse 11. In the book of Isaiah 55, the book of Isaiah 55, verse 11. Isaiah 55, 11. Isaiah 55, 11. It says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me word, but it shall accomplish that, that which has pleased, and it shall prosper in the thing we are told I sent it. Not the tattoo. Not whatever you make a mark as in your body. Not even you make a cross by tattoo in your body. It's not accepted. And then if we see unbelievers that have done it before becoming a Jesus Christ, do not let them come to the church and be boasting of it. That this is in my body. Even when I'm not a Christian, this is what I do. I love Jesus Christ to the extent that I, I, put, it, I put Jesus Christ for, uh, 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 me by tattoo into my body. And that person come and he dress and he open his chest and he say, look Jesus, no wonder now that I love Jesus Christ. You don't love Jesus Christ. Because if you love Jesus Christ, you will eat whatever Jesus Christ eats. Tattoo is not the answer. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. It is the word of the mouth. Andrew used, Peter used, not tattoo to bring people into the Christ. And God is going to help us. He's going to anoint our word in Jesus, in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2. Second Corinthians chapter 3, Verse 2, the book of letter to the people of Corinth, the book of Paul to the people of Corinth, the second book of Paul to the people of Corinth, which I read for chapter 3, verse 2, chapter 3, verse 2, chapter 3, you are, you are our epistle, epistle written in our heart, know and read of all of them. It is your character. It is the way you present yourself. It is the way we are seeing you. It is the way we are able to call upon you as a Christian brother, as a Christian sister. It is the way we are able to call upon you as a leader in the church. That's why we are respecting you. Not because of the play card. Not because of the, not because of the show off. Not because of any other thing, but because of your character, we know that Jesus Christ is in it. By the power and the blood of Jesus, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that character will not die in Jesus' name. You don't go outside when nobody is not there and believe that after all, none of my teacher, none of my chi none, none of my leader is here today. I can put on anything I want. Even when your leader is there, when we are there, when we are not there, what you are doing, you are doing it for God. There's no way you cannot have respect for God. You have respect for your leader. There's no way you cannot have respect for your wife. You have respect for your husband. I mean, for God. There's no way you cannot have respect for your wife, your, your husband. You have respect for God. Whatever God dwell in their life, God dwell in their life. So let us spot any hypocrisy. Let's spot, let's stop anything that is not adorable. Let's stop anything that is not acceptable. Let's stop anything that is not welcome by, the, by God Himself. Let's take the word of the Lord serious. 
And let us know that the way we present ourselves, that's the way we, the leaders, that's the way the, the outsider, they are looking at us as a child of the Lord. So either the leader is there, either my wife is there, either I'm as an husband, I'm with my wife, let us present ourselves in a godly way. That we are not deceiving the person that we are staying with. Because if I'm there, or if any of you is there, and somebody and something I don't supposed to do, I started doing it. I'm deceiving myself, I'm not deceiving God. Why can't I even do it so that everybody will know that that's my character? The Bible said, undo your salvation with fear. And the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for every one of us in Jesus' name. In book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 12. Deuteronomy 23, verse 12. The book of Deuteronomy 23, verse 12. The book of Deuteronomy 23, verse 12. You shall have a place also without the calm where you shall go forth abroad. Let me read further to verse 14. And you shall have a paddle upon your weapon, and it shall be when you will ease yourself abroad, you shall dig their wheat, and shall turn back and cover that which come from you. From the Lord your God, walk in the midst of your calm to deliver you and to give up your enemy before you. Therefore, shall your, shall your calm be holy, that he see no unclean thing in you and turn away from you. That's me. God cannot dwell where there's unclean. There's no language you can use. There's no any other language you can use. What is unclean is unclean, either spiritual or physical. And then look at look at what the Bible says very well. Say, it said, when you will, and it said, look at first thing. For the Lord your God walk in the midst of your camp to deliver you and to give up your enemy before you. Therefore, shall you try your camp be holy. Automatically, if your camp is not holy, if your camp is not clean, God will not dwell there. And then you will see us praying, shouting, call upon the name of the Lord, but there's no answer. My dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, it is a time for us to take cleanliness as holiness. And God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. God is going to build our, our, our house. God is going to build our ministry in Jesus' name. This is all about sanitation. You know, God was telling them that I'm in this camp. If you, you have a waste and you want to pass out, go abroad. Go away from that place. And after you have passed that waste, cover it. Talkless in the church, we see a lot of things. Many. Some talkless in the church, we see a lot of things that is not acceptable. As a worker in the house of the Lord, we need to take all these things serious and God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. In the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 14. The book of Romans, the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 14, chapter 14, verse 14. The letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 14, chapter 14, verse 14. Let's open our Bible, the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 14, verse 14. I know, and I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus, is nothing unclean of itself. We are the one that make it unclean. Look at this chair, the body new. We are the one that is drinking tea there, and we put the tea there. Look at all these computers. They were very new when we buy it. We are the one that was using them. And then if everything is dirty in the, in the house of the law, we need to make them clean. Make the rock clean. 
Make the AC clean. Make all this TV clean. Make the work clean. Arrange everything well. Wherever they are not supposed to be, eliminate them. Whatever they are supposed to be, arrange them. And then when we do all this thing, when we have a visitor, he will be very happy that he's in the midst of the clean people. God will help everyone of us in Jesus' name. And this is the same I apply it to our house. Apply it to our room. Apply it to our clothes. Apply it to our private life. Apply it to our intimacy. Whenever we see anything that is an error that we cannot we cannot take total control, we don't know how to do it. The computer is not open. This is what I see. This is what I see. How can I make this thing better in my life? You will see a lot of training in order to make things better in our life. You, husband, you wife, take this thing serious. This word that I have seen a lot of people, they go outside. Why? Because by the time they, they see another man, and the husband is the, the man is very near, the man is beautiful. Every one of us, we have the man of flesh. And he thinks within himself, I wish my husband is like this. We wife. Take it very serious. And the man go out, and you know there's a lot of seducers outside. And you see, just by the time the woman was, was speaking to her, or the way the woman was dressed very neat as a Christian, but he is a seducer. But he knows, she knows what your husband wants. And the way she speaks, she stole the heart of your husband. Me, we husband, we are at home, we are not taking care of our body. We wife, we are at home, we are not taking care of our body. We are not taking care of our house. We are not taking care of anything that belongs to us. How do we want to take care of the house of the Lord? All this thing is very, very important, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. In book of Hebrew, chapter 10, in the book of Hebrew, the book of Hebrew, chapter 10, Hebrew, he, he, book of Hebrew chapter 10, verse 21. Book of Hebrew chapter 10. Book of Hebrew chapter 10, verse 21. Book of Hebrew chapter 10. And having an eye peace over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Hebrew, Hebrew 10, 21. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Having our eyes sprinkled from our evil conscience and our body washed with pure water. Not by perfume. Not by just too well. Not by job like that. We are, we are coming to the church. We just put on something so that we can look neat. What the Bible say? Let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, without any without any seducing spirit, without anything negative thing in our mind, without anything. I will I will show the people in the church that I have this, I have that, with a very pure heart, having our heart sprinkled from our evil conscience, and our body washed with pure water. Dear brother, dear sister in the Lord. By the time you are coming to the house of the Lord, put on the best thing. Put on the best body that you have so that the name of the Lord can be glorified. And God will do it and God will provide for us to be in the better places in Jesus' name. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 7, verse 19. Leviticus, chapter 7. Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 7, verse 19. The book of Leviticus chapter 7, verse 19. Leviticus chapter 7, verse 19. 
It is my prayer that the impact of this message of today, we will see it in our life, we will see it in the church, we will see it in our marriage, we will see it in every area of our life in Jesus' name. Lifticus chapter 7, verse 19. Lifticus chapter 7. And the flesh that touches an any unclean thing shall not be eat, shall not be eaten it shall be bought with fire and as for the flesh all that be clean shall eat therefore but the soul that eat of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace of offering that pertain unto the lord having this uncleanness upon him even that soul shall be cut off from his people you will be clean i will be clean <laughs> you know sometimes i don't know if you have taken note of it Sometimes when you go outside, I remember before, uh, you may not know, not you, you might have known. When you are talking about dressing, I've been telling every one of you, it was who was. Thank God for my wife, I thank God for some people outside there. That started teaching me, this how to dress, this how to do, this how to do, the, even eating. All those things matter most. You can't go to a place whereby you are eating, and by the time you put tea, uh, meat in your, in your mouth, the, meat, uh, the, uh, the person that sits down beside you uh, has a problem. I do it a lot. I did it a lot. Then the people of the church, by the time they are going outside, to sit beside you, they will need to be thinking, uh, it's better for me to go and change their tomb. So that we don't need to take this this cloth to the to the to the uh, dark night again. All those things matters in our life, and as a worker, we need to present ourselves as person that's been trained and train ourselves, so that we will not be cut off among the people of high hierarchy. And God is going to help us. God is going to crown our effort in, in, in Jesus' name. My dear brother, my dear sister. All this thing is necessary. In order to be a, work, a worker in the house of the Lord. Immediately you are maintaining what or clean thing is lead to others. If you are careless about eating in the public, you will be losing soul. If you are careless about cleaning in your house, you are inviting germs. If you are careless about eating, about cleaning in your body, you are losing your spouse. This is my prayer about the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. All this thing, we are going to take it in the consideration and we are going to make changes, especially in every one of them, not especially in Jesus' name. And God is going to help us. God is going to beat every one of us in Jesus' name. Let us rise up and call upon the name of the Lord. Father, help me. You know what the Bible said? In the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 43. Matthew 12. Matthew 12. Chapter 12. Matthew 12. Chapter 12, verse 43. Let's apply all these things into our life. Matthew 12. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walked through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is, he, when he, he is come, he finds it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goes he and takes with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and were there through uncleanness many people they have lost a lot of things it may be because of it it may not be because of it i remember a woman that mentioned it in our church 
that this thing is not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to and as a result of that. She left. Although we made correction, although we see that he has his own personal uh, self motive, but still, what he has said matters most. I've had a lot of people when you are concerning, even when you have moved closer to some people within your self, within your they will say, This is what I ate about my spouse, about my partner that I'm just enduring. Call upon the name of the Lord. And this is another thing they ask of the Lord. I say, Walker. We must take it. I say, ask of the Lord. Why God well? Why we are expecting God? Make arrangement. Why it is necessary. Sweep. Why it is necessary. Clean. Why it is necessary. Let light and feel able. Why it is necessary. Remove waste. Why it is necessary. Put something good. Why it is necessary. Make the, make the house of the Lord, make it I mean, admirable. Make it adorable. Make it glor make, make, let it glorify the name of the Lord. Let it glorify the name of Jesus Christ. We are worshiping there. Take it serious. Take it as a sermon. God will strengthen you. God will strengthen me. It's necessary. Cleanliness is equal to holiness. Call upon the name of the Lord. God, help me. Help me. Let your grace be sufficient for me in cleanliness as holiness. But Stephen, you can come around the world. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We thank you for this section. We thank you, Lord, for beginning with us till the very end. I will thank you for the message, O God, that we've heard, Lord Father. We ask, O Lord, that you will help us, O God, that we, that spiritually, physically, in every area of our life, that we, that we may be clean in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, help us, O God, to make arrangements when necessary. Help us to make corrections when necessary. That at the end of it all, your name alone will be glorified in Jesus' name. Father, we commit to God the church in, in into your hands. I ask, O oh God, that you, O oh God, give us, O oh God, every, each and every member the mind of of um, of um, purity. Now we may purify our, ourselves. We may remain pure until the day that that you will call us to glory in Jesus' name. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that your spirit will be in us. That any spirit that is not of you, O oh God, in, 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 in our lives, we cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit to God the service of tomorrow into your hands. We ask that you will take charge. We ask, O oh God, that your spirit will take preeminence. Ask many members, wherever they are, O oh Lord, Father, I ask, O oh God, that you will touch their heart, that they will not engage engage or book activities for tomorrow's worship and we'll be here in time at the end of your name alone will be glorified i will thank you oh god for what you've done i will thank you oh god for what you will do i will thank you for the present past and the, and the, and the future take all the glory but your servant that you've used to go to minister as to god that you that you will replenish him more wisdom more knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we cover our lives with the blood of Jesus. We cover our spiritual and body with the blood of Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore. Amen. Charlene. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, and God bless you. Mm.